Welcome back to Make Play Treasure. Today we're reading Chris Butterworth's Seahorse, the Shyest Fish in the Sea, illustrated by John Lawrence. In the warm ocean among the waving seagrass meadows, an eye like a small black bead is watching the fish dart by. Who does it belong to? Seahorse, one of the shyest fish in the sea. Seahorse has a head like a horse or tail like a a tail like a monkey and a pouch like a kangaroo. This one is a barber seahorse. He has tiny prickles down his back like a dragon. He may not look like much like a fish, but that's what he is. Seahorse swims upright. He moves himself through the water with little fins on his head and the larger one on his back. He can only swim slowly, so if a hungry snapper cruises by looking for a snack, Seahorse does something very clever. He holds still and changes color. Now you see him until he's almost invisible. Now you don't. Every day at sunrise, Seahorse swims slowly off to meet his mate. They twist their tails together and twirl gently around, changing color until they match. Today, Seahorse's mate is full of ripe eggs. The two of them dance till sunset, and then she puts her eggs into his pouch. Seahorse sways about to get the eggs settled in, then seals his pouch shut tightly. Safe inside, the dots in the eggs begin to grow into baby seahorses. They break out of their eggs and keep on growing, each one with a head like a tiny horse and a tail like a tiny monkey. A few weeks later, Seahorse finds a quiet place to hide among the corals. It's time for the babies to be born. He works hard all day and through the night, bending, squeezing, and pushing, shooting hundreds of babies out of his pouch. They swirl around him in the water like smoke. One or two of the babies hang on Dad's nose for a while. It's the first and biggest thing they've seen. But when they let go, they are so tiny and light that the current soon floats them away. The new, this new seahorse is only as long as your eyelash, but she can find her own food right away. Her eyes move separately from each other. One can peer up while the other looks down, so she can spot food coming from any direction. With one quick slurp, the sucks her, she sucks her catch into the end of her snout and swallows it whole. Seahorses don't have teeth. When she is big enough, seahorse curls up her tail and sinks to the seabed. She is safer here. Her camouflage protects her, and if a storm scoops the sea into huge waves or passing boats send current sweeping by, there are plenty things to hang on to. When she is even bigger, Seahorse picks one patch of reef as her home. She wraps her tail around a coral branch. This is her holdfast. Wherever she goes, she'll keep coming back to this holdfast. In a few months, this little seahorse will be ready to mate. She'll spend the rest of her life on the reef watching her for food, meeting her mate, and trying to stay almost invisible. Who's that peering from the coral? Shh, she's a seahorse. B and Hope you like this book, and remember to like and subscribe so you can keep up with our reading events and activities. Catch you next time on Make Play Treasure. Bye!